Good evening. I'd like to call the meeting to order, please. Ms. Campbell, would you call the roll for us? Mr. Hannigan? Here. Mr. Derman? Here. Mr. Loop? Here. Mr. Harrell? Here. Mr. Nation? Mr. Jeter? Here. Mrs. Seeley? Here. Mrs. Drucker? Here. Mr. Betancourt? Here. Mr. Walmack? Mr. Walmack has a family illness, cannot make it tonight. Mr. Hersey? Here. Mrs. Mullet? Mr. Kuzan? Here. Mrs. Belisario? Here. Mrs. Hines? Here. Thank you so much. Would you please stand and join us with, for the invocation pledge led by Ms. Mrs. Mullet. Okay. Heavenly Father, as we come together to do the school board's work, we ask you to guide us in our decision making. We ask you to unite us that we all work together to do what's best for all of our students and our employees. We ask you to look over the and take care of the school board members and their families who are not here tonight. And we ask you to please um, watch over all the law enforcement in the United States, law enforcement people. In your name we pray. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to welcome you all to our September 3rd meeting of Human Resources and Education for the St. Tammany Parish School Board. Uh, we did not have anyone sign up requesting time on the agenda, so we'll move to our next item, which is approval of the minutes from the committee as a whole meeting held on August 6th. Do I have a motion to accept those minutes? I have a motion by Mr. Derman and a second by Mr. Loop. Do we have any comments from board members? Do we have any comments from the public? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? So ordered. That brings us to our uh, instruction portion of the meeting. First report is from Mrs. Sharp and it's PTA. One common thread which consistently helps foster this success is the strong parental support in all of our schools. And what signifies the presence of parents in our schools more than our fantastic PTA organizations. Once again this year, every one of our, P our schools has an active PTA organization, and we consistently have the most members in the state PTA. I'm sure that will be the case once again after our membership drive are completed. I'm happy to say that the last few uh, state PTA presidents have come from our very own district, and this year is no exception. At this time, I would like the state PTA president, our very own Mr. Gary Fayard, to please stand and be recognized. Mr. Fayard. Thank you for join, joining us this evening. Since 2003, the National PTA has recognized local PTA units for outstanding achievement by declaring them National PTA Schools of Excellence. This title signifies a school's achievement in building effective family school partnerships. Research shows that when families and schools work together, student achievement increases, schools improve, and communities grow stronger. Being recognized as a National PTA School of Excellence demonstrates a school's commitment to student success and continuous school improvement. This year, 124 PTA units were recently named as 2015 National PTA School of Excellence. There were only three in Louisiana and only one in South Louisiana. At this time, I would like to ask Mr. Foles to join me at the podium as we announce the latest National PTA School of Excellence winner. And that school is, Mr. Post? Drum roll, please. Creekside Junior High School. All right, Creekside. And here tonight we have Principal Lisa Verga and PTA, past PTA President Gina Boyette. And I'd like them to join us at the podium. And Mr. Fayard as well. And we'll get a nice 
picture of you receiving your certificate from Mr. Folks. Okay, did we need a speech? Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. And I would like to remind you, everyone, to join their local PTA and board members. I'll be getting uh, a membership form out to you soon. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Sharp, and congr congratulations to Creekside Junior High. That's a, a wonderful award. We're very pleased for you. All right, uh, our next report is uh, the Advanced Ed Report, and we have Mr. Carlo to give us that report. Good evening. It is with extreme pride that I inform you that St. Tammany Parish Public Schools was awarded accreditation from the Advanced Ed Accreditation Commission, which is the national commission that confers with the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Council on Accreditation and School Improvement. The accreditation demonstrates to our community our commitment to excellence, our openness to external review and feedback, and our desire to be the best we can be on behalf of the students that we serve. So at this time, I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Ray Poplis, who is the Director of Advanced Ed for Louisiana Operations Office. He has a special presentation for Mr. Fos and our school system. Mr. Poplis. Good evening, board members. Superintendent Fos, I'm honored to be here to recognize St. Tammany Parish School System for achieving reaccreditation through Advance Ed. Advance Ed or Advance Education is an international accrediting agency that recognizes pre-K-12 schools worldwide. Advance Ed is the parent group of several regional accrediting agencies. One of those you may recognize as the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools, better known as SACS. Your school system actually has a long history with SACS accreditation. You might be interested to know that Covington High School was first accredited in 1915 100 years ago. <laughs> Slidell Senior High, 1923, followed by Mandeville High School in 1957, and then followed by all of your other schools. In 2005, St. Tammany Parish school system became one of the first districts in Louisiana to be recognized for systems accreditation, which meant that the district office and all of your schools met the high quality standards developed by Advance Ed. In the spring of last year, you opened your doors to a team of people from within Louisiana and outside of Louisiana who spent three and a half days with you visiting your schools, interviewing stakeholders, and reviewing artifacts to verify that your district still models and exemplifies the quality standards for schools and school systems. The commission at its June meeting approved your reaccreditation for a period of five years. So I am happy on behalf of Advance Ed and the Advance Ed Louisiana office to present this plaque to Superintendent False. The plaque reads, this is to certify that St. Tammany Parish school system having met the requirements established by the Advance Ed Accreditation Commission and Board of Trustees is hereby accredited by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Council on Accreditation and School Improvement. Congratulations, 
your most deserved. Congratulations you. to you. Thank you for being here. I, I must say, I think this is the biggest plaque we've ever received. Um, <laughs> but we will certainly um, hang it in a proud position. Uh, thank you to all the people. It seems like hard to believe that was this last spring when this happened. But um, when you, that seems like a long time ago. But when you said the visitors were only here for three and a half days, it su sure seemed like they were here even longer. <laughs> because um, it was a time for us to reflect, and a lot of hard work went into it. And then when you share with us that it's been 100 years, it's nice to know that all of us can carry on a tradition of the people that were in the system 100 years ago to um, accomplish an honor such as this. So I thank all the central office people for their work. Thank the um, school board members as well and our schools. Everyone worked together certainly to make this happen. And I know when I got an email from you, you said we could come pick it up or you could bring it. I said, we want you to bring it. So um, we appreciate you being here. Thank you. Yes, sir. We are very pleased to have that recertification and appreciate those very interesting facts that you've given us this evening on the history of our SACS and um, advanced debt accreditation. Do any board members have any questions or comments? Forgotten that? <coughs> Ms. Mullet? I just want to say congratulations to, again, to everyone in our school system, starting with our central office staff, and well, actually, Mr. Foles, and your central office staff, all the way down to you know our students and everyone that every, every everybody it takes all of us working together and this just shows what we can do when we work together for for our school and our school and our students thank you thank you thank you anyone else all right um we'll go on to our next item then which is the pre-k program we have miss lane this evening Good evening, Superintendent Folks and board members. It's my pleasure to be here tonight to share with you an update on the early childhood, high quality education and care for our young children here in St. Tammany Parish. We are part of and the lead agency for the St. Tammany Parish Early Childhood Care and Education Network, where we focus on servicing children from birth to five years of age. You have flyers at your places. They look like this. And they're flyers which contain every member of our network. And all are vital members to this success. You also note this graph I wanted to share with you. In year one, we're now in year three, but in year one, we had eight child care centers participating in our network. In year two, we had 20. We're now in year three, and in year three, for licensing, it is required for child care centers if they're going to accept publicly funded children and be a type three child care center, which is the highest licensing level, they would have to participate in a network. And currently, we're up to 32 child care centers. With that comes the great responsibility of those class observations. So we have approximately 584 toddler and pre-K class observations to plan for organize and conduct across our network. And we are also very happy to say that there are no four-year-olds who are on a wait list anywhere in our network, whether it's Head Start, Child Care, or our school system. All four-year-olds are currently being serviced, and that's a great, great news. Um, we are at the point now where we're focusing our efforts on trying to get our twos and threes who acquire who uh, are qualified for public funds to be serviced and in centers and head start where they can get that quality education and care one of the great successes here in st tammany parish in our public schools i want to share with you is our inclusion if you look at this you'll notice the line on the graph that the red line shows the decline of self-contained classrooms what we've done is if in 2011 we started out with those 27 self-contained classrooms and today we have only 11. by opening more of those blended classes and that class consists of approximately 10 children without an IEP and maybe six with an IEP and those blended classes are up from 11 in 2011 to now 26 
And then our children who are on classes where we have children who are serviced by itinerant teachers, and those are teachers who go into the classroom because those children are in full inclusion all day. And they're only, um, we went from 11 and we increased that to 17. So we still have a high number of children being serviced, yet their services, as we know, they all learn from one another better than they learn from any of us. And so they're all serviced now with typical peers, or most of them, as if they can at all be, are serviced with typical peers. It's a journey we're still on, but we're very proud of this success. Our next endeavor, then the endeavor we're working on now, is that of common enrollment. And our task is to make sure that a parent's choice is honored. That parents are fully aware of all of the opportunities out there for their children. Which programs they qualify for, what those programs offer, and we honor their choice. So we're all working together to try to make that happen. And in closing, I want to offer you a big thank you. It's because of this board's commitment and support that we're able to provide for our children these high quality environments. We provide opportunities for them to dream, opportunities for them to become quite confident, and they are our future, and so they're the ones that we're going to rely on tomorrow. So there's just a very short little clip here that these little ones get to tell you some of their dreams and some of their potential. I have big dreams. And at school, I'm learning how I can make them come true. Because I got to come to this school, I'll grow up to be. The one teachers love to have in their classrooms. My little monkey's drum in the water. The one you know won't ever give up. <laughs> the first in my family to go to college. Is that? Joel with the a person who makes smart choices. Thank you. The person who always dreams up the big ideas. I'll be the one you can count on to say, don't worry, I got this. 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 Don't yeah. no worry, we got it. Thank you, Ms. Lane. Uh, we have questions from board members. Ms. Seeley, do you have a question? Thank you, Ms. Hines. Congratulations on not having a waiting list for the four year olds. That's awesome. wonderful. Appreciate that. We're servicing at, uh, at least 1,000 kids in our public schools right now. That's, that's awesome. Who qualified for free and reduced lunch? I do have a question. Do we have any openings for any more four year olds? Yes, we do actually have some openings at some schools, um, a few. We are funded this year for approximately 900 children. We're servicing 1,000, and we have room for about 25 more. Okay. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mr. Hennigan, did you have a question? Uh, well, the big one was how many students are we servicing. That's up quite a bit. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Are all our areas now covered? I know that uh, it seems like all the elementary schools have. Every elementary school has the preschool program. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Very good. Congratulations. Thank you. Mr. Battencourt. Thank you, Ms. Heinz. Ms. Lane, would you explain about the, uh, the parent's choice thing you touched on? What yes. if there's one particular school and there's more? The choice Which really is public school, child care, or Head Start. So uh, we're working currently on a common application and enrollment system where, with Lewis, We've, he's helping us a lot with this, where we would have parents be able to go in to um, a system where they would be able to put in their income, know what they qualify for, and then from there comes up a list of choices, and they would number them, their first choice, second choice, or third choice. The third, first choice would um, have to that agency would have to respond yes we welcome you and come register on this day or they would have to say we're full and if that it automatically kicks to the second choice and then the same happens to go to the third choice so the parents get to see what's out there where they want their children but in our public school system they would still stay within district for their schools it's it's just that if um, a parent has the choice now of public school child care 
and Head Start. And they've actually increased the CCAP funding, Child Care Assistance Program, so that it's pretty equitable what we're getting for our LA4 kids and what child care is going to be getting for a year to educate um, a four-year-old who qualifies at the same qualification level. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mr. Darwin. Thank you, Ms. Saints. Ms. Lane, when we're talking about the funding aspect of it, um, how much of that money for the entire, for let's say for our thousand students that we have comes from the state or other sources other than local funds? Um, the, it comes from the state and it comes from the federal government. This year we only have two funding sources and it's about a 50-50 split. Um, so that between the state and the, the federal government. Okay, and then in the private sector with the, the daycare centers, <coughs> excuse me, that funding is through Head Start or something like that? It's the Child Care Assistance Program from the state of Louisiana, okay. but I think the funds actually are federal funds that are dispersed through the state. You okay. apply to the state for child care assistance. Okay, I think it's a great program, and I mean, we, I know all of us fully support it, but I mean, it's just, it is a cost factor that, that's involved with this, but I mean, I still think it's very well worth while doing but and nobody knows their kid best than a parent before they come to us at that very young age so it is a very important that parents do get to f see what would be the best fit for their young children right and they have several different options mm -hmm. to pick from which is good so appreciate the information Ms. Chanigan yes, <coughs> one quick question you know we've been doing this for a couple of years mm -hmm. and we have so catching we're collecting such nice statistics have you looked back to see if these kids stay uh, above well what it does is was? levels that playing field a bit so our kids who there's research out there especially from the Picard Center that it's followed all these LA4 children and they they have done scored at least basic on their leap and you got to realize the children that we brought in were children who did not have that expectations prior to preschool um, and so we have seen that they have gone on to high school, graduated, and I don't know if they've gone to college, but at least they were prepared for some kind of career or college. But we do know on the, on the eighth grade high stakes leap, they were definitely scoring basic. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Great. Anyone else? Ms. Hines, if I could. Sure. I just want to say a special thank you to Beth. You know, Beth's the perfect person for this. There's been some growing pains with the state, but never <laughs> has... Beth lost her enthusiasm in for her for this, and I admire her for that, and I thank you for your efforts on that. Okay. It will certainly be money well spent for this school system for many, many. We talked about 100 years of history. People 100 years from now will be looking at this program as one that made a huge impact in our school system. Thank you. Thank you for that report, Ms. Sloan. Mr. Lube, are you going to save your announcements for the end of the next meeting? If that's the case, then I uh, thank you for being with us this evening. I declare the meeting adjourned. Go ahead and call this meeting to order for the St. Anthony Parish School Board Committee as a whole for September 3rd, 2015. Business Affairs and Administrative. Uh, roll call, please. Mr. Derman. Here. Mr. Hannigan. Here. Mrs. Hines. Here. Mr. Loop. Here. Mr. Harrell. Here. Mr. Nation. Mr. Jeter. Here. Mrs. Seeley. Here. Mrs. Drucker. Here. Mr. Betancourt. Present. Mr. Walmack. Mr. Hurley. Here. Mrs. Mullet. Present. Mr. Kuzan. Here. Mrs. Belisario. Here. Thank you, Ms. Campbell. Um, we're going to dispense with the invocation and pledge tonight as that was done in our prior meeting. Uh, no one has requested time on the agenda, so we're going to move to item four, which is approval of the minutes for the committee as a whole meeting held August 6, 2015. Do I have a motion, please? Hey. Okay. Uh, I think Ms. Seeley made the motion and Ms. Drucker had the second. Any comments or questions from board members? Seeing none. Any comments from the public? Seeing none, all, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain, so ordered. 
Okay, item five is Superintendent Foltz. Thank you, uh, Mr. Derman. Board members, tonight item 5A is recommends acceptance of the final revised budgets for fiscal year 2014-15. What this does um, with this motion and approval is formalizes and finalizes the end of this, the prior year's um, budget, and it's a parliamentary procedure step to um, end the budget and close it out. Okay, I have a motion by Ms. Heinz and a second by Mr. Luke. Uh, any comments or questions from board members regarding last year's budget? Seeing none, any from the public? Seeing none as well. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? So ordered. Thank you. Uh, consideration of superintendent's proposed budget for fiscal year 2015 2016. Mr. Foles. Thank you, uh, Mr. Derman. Board members, item uh, 5B is the proposed budget for fisc budgets for fiscal year 2015-16. As you um, recall at our public hearing, we presented to the board, Terry and I, our budget method. Another copy is that in your folder tonight. Also, if you remember at the budget hearing, I touched on the high points of the budget and um, certainly made that information available to each of you. As I did then, uh, I want to thank uh, our staff and members, Terry and, her, and all the people that have worked so hard on this. This is a budget that we feel very good about. It's a conservative budget, but we do believe it needs, meets the needs of our children. Moving forward, we certainly will continue to monitor it as we do through the year and bring you updates when necessary and when required. But we do know that through the hard work of this board and central office that th we're in a place where we there's really good to be in a budget that we present to you tonight that meets the needs of our students meets the needs of our employees and one that we can um, be proud of as we present it to you tonight with that said terry regina p myself are all available uh, to answer any questions you may have about different parts of the budget thank you thank you mr Foles. any uh okay M Motion by Mr. Harrell, second, second by Ms. Mullet. Any um, questions or comments from board members regarding the budget for this coming year? Mr. Hennigan. Thank you. And I, can, can you remind me what we built into the salary tables as an increase from last year? It was, go ahead. It was $5.3 million. That's with the highly effective stipends. Okay. And that was a... For each employee, it was seven seventy-five for certificated and four hundred for non-certificated. And the money that we received from the state was about three million dollars extra. Okay. And we chose to do all employees, Good. as we did the year before. <coughs> Good. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, I, Ms. Heinz. I'd just like to comment that I appreciate the fact that we received the updates during the year in December and then in the spring. I think that's very helpful to the board and keeps us all informed of what's going on and keeps us on track. So I appreciate the administration's work in putting that together for us. Thank you. Now, I, made, I tried to make that point at the public hearing that this budget is one that Terry and I, and we meet staff every Monday, and budget is talked about at each staff meeting as well as through the year. So it's a budget that we're constantly reviewing, evolving, and bringing updates to you, and I, I appreciate that. Any other questions by board members? If I may, I may just want to interject one thing. Mr. Jabby and, or Terry or Mr. Foles, either, any one of y'all can comment, but the pay raise that our employees are getting is part of their salary. It's not a stipend, and it is part of their salary and will therefore be there again. It's in their base. It's in their base. 775 and the 400 goes into their base. In the base. So okay. it would be every year, yes. Thank you. Uh, could I, if I could, Mr. Dermot, I want to uh, thank Mr. Rowley here. Mr. Clark Rowley is here. Mr. Rowley had brought to our attention and certainly been working with us for a while on a um, stipend or some recognition for our robotics teachers, coaches, and uh, as you'll see, that is in the budget this year. It's the first time we've been able to do it, and I think it's something that we hopefully will grow and challenge other schools that haven't done what some schools have done. But this is a program that Mr. Um, Rowley and his son and others have been involved in and volunteered for many years, brought these things to our attention, and I'm happy that it's in the budget this year, and thank you for your efforts and support of our school system. 
Absolutely. Also, you know, we understand the commitment that's made by our instructors in these classes and, and the impact that it has on our students and our system. So we definitely want to recognize that. And if um, by doing this in, within our budget, it helps uh, acknowledge that as well. So we appreciate the efforts very much. Um, any other comments by board members? Seeing none, any from the public? Seeing none there. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? So ordered. Thank you, Mr. Foles. Um, item six is administrative, and that's Mr. Jabby, a monthly maintenance and custodial report. Thank you, Mr. Derman. That's in your packet. And Mr. Singletary, his staff is here if you have any questions. Any questions regarding those reports? Seeing none, Mr. Jabby. Also in your packet is the monthly risk management report. Mr. Gaspar is here if you have any questions. Any questions for Mr. Gaspar? Seeing none, Mr. Javier. And also the monthly transportation report is in your packet. Mr. Alfonso is still with us, and he's here tonight to answer your questions. <laughs> Hopefully <laughs> that joke will wear yeah. out uh, pretty soon. You know? He looks like he's lost some weight. <laughs> <laughs> he had a head full of hair before he started the job. <laughs> he's doing uh, a great job. He is. He, he is. is. I saw a recent video and someone else's hair is thinning as well. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> You're not kidding about that. <laughs> okay, any questions about transportation? It seemed like we had a few comments, but <laughs> uh, Ms. Mullet. Yeah. I just had a comment. I wanted to um, th thank uh, Mr. Alfonso. F he hit the ground running, of course, as usual start of school we did have some questions from parents and some concerns and he handled it ASAP so I appreciate that and I'm sure they do as well absolutely Ms. Drucker I just want to thank Steve um, you've done a really great job I went to my open houses in my district and pretty much everyone has been saying what a great job you've done really helpful very interactive with uh, the the principals and also the uh, assistants over there trying to make sure that the kids get home earlier and they're just kind of working and tweaking. So really appreciate all the hard work. It's going well noticed in my yes. district. Thank you. Yeah, Mr. Luke. Yeah, I stopped by there today at Transportation and uh, they had a lot of smiles, a lot of friendly uh, hellos and so on like that, Stephen, and they, you can tell they enjoy trying to get things worked out really well and we appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Kuzan. Steve, have you got a chance to air condition all the buses yet? <laughs> 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 Don't answer that. <laughs> he said about January, that should happen. <laughs> yeah, but then when is that in January? <laughs> then the heaters won't work. <laughs> the ceiling. Where do you go? Okay. Um, are we still hiring substitute bus drivers? Yes, ma'am. Okay. How many more do you need? We just sent 10 through today. We probably have about 55 total on, the, on, the, on our docket. That we use. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I believe that's it. Any other questions or comments? Okay, thank you. Um, item 7 is, oh, Mr. Jabby, absolutely. Thank you for your reports. No problem. Very thank informative. Uh, item 7 is construction, Ms. Tipton. Thank you. Uh, first item. There is a memo in your packet from myself to Mr. Fols. Uh, we have an opportunity to purchase five lots in the area of Alton Elementary School. And tonight we're recommending authorization for Superintendent Fols and or Board President Luke to purchase property described as lots 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 square five of the town of Alton, Louisiana near Alton Elementary School in Slidell. And if you look at the attachment uh, to that memo, you'll see that these, these lots are located uh, kind of across the street from their playground and gymnasium. And we think that this will ultimately provide an opportunity for um, a more formal parking area for this school. If you're familiar with this school, it has very low, limited um, parking areas um, associated with it. Okay, thank you. Do I move by Mr. Kuzan, seconded by Ms. Belisario. Um, any comments or questions from board members? Uh, Ms. Belisario. I would just like to say I was there last year with <laughs> Mr. Alfred, and 
that was so needed. There was nowhere to park. Yes. So I'm really glad to see it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent comment. And what did y'all estimate, Cameron? About 35, 36, 37 parking that, spots. Yeah. We'll pick up 37 parking spots. Thank you. Um, uh, Mr. Betancourt. Thank you, Mr. Durham. Ms. Tip, is that the uh, appraisal? That's per lot or total for all that's five lots? That's total. Total. And you don't, you don't have, I don't see anything on here, an approximate size or is it like an acre or two acres or? I don't have that with me here this evening, um, but we can get that information if you need it. I didn't hear you. We don't have that information, those dimensions here. To okay. We'll email that to you first thing in the morning. We can get that for you. It was 37 parking spots. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? Any comments or questions from the public? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain, so ordered. Um, our next item is recommends acceptance of Boyette Junior High School walkway re-roofing and replacement as substantially complete, subject to the architect's recommendations, submission of all regulatory requirements, and approval of Superintendent Fulce, St. Tammany Parish School Board Project Number 1502. Thank you. Moved by Ms. Belisario, second by Mr. Kuzan. Any comments or questions regarding Alton? Boyette. I'm sorry, Boyette. I'm sorry. Uh, we just did Alton. Right. Any comments by board members? Seeing none. From the public? Seeing any, no comments from there. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain, so ordered. And uh, item B is our monthly construction report. I'll just give you a brief report on where we are. Uh, Madisonville Elementary Edition has been closed in, and the contractor is installing finishes and classroom woodwork. Clearwood Edition. Um, is working on, they finished their masonry and completing the roof deck and they plan to start roofing and window installation next week. At Chifuncta Middle, the second floor slab has been poured and the roof structure is erected and the contractor has poured the first half of the first floor slab. At Pontchartrain Elementary, the steel structure is erected and the contractor is installing second floor deck in preparation to pour the second floor slab. Abney Elementary, Mandible Elementary, and Lyon Elementary projects are progressing on foundation and underground utility work. The contractor is working on electrical feeders, special systems, and walkway covers to the temporary classrooms for Fountain Blue Junior High. The HVAC system replacement projects for Covington High, Slidell Junior, and Bonnie Cole are on schedule. The ProStart classroom renovation is completed at North Shore High and the gym floor is installed and the finishing process is scheduled to start next week. We, mu we met with the engineer for Boyette Junior and Little Oak Middle Utilities project today. They're working on completing documents to submit to DHH for review. The contract has been signed for the Shata Ema project and the contractor has applied to the parish for building permits and we are scheduling a pre-construction meeting for next week. Carolyn Park Middle School project is advertised for bids. We had a pre-bid meeting this week, and we expect to receive those bids prior to the October board meeting. The Pearl River High documents are in review by DHH and the fire marshal. The tennis court portion of the project has been advertised for bids in order to have that portion of work completed prior to the temporary modular classrooms needing to be set in that area on the existing campus. We expect to receive those bids prior to the October board meeting also. A set of review documents for Sawdell High Project was recently submitted to our office for review. The architect for Mandeville Junior High Renovations Project has indicated that they will be submitting a review set of documents toward the middle of September. A meeting to review the next portion of work for North Shore High is scheduled for next week. Review sets for additions to Lancaster and Mayfield Elementary Schools have been submitted to our office and those design teams continue to work on those projects as well be happy to answer any questions that you have. Ms. Tipton, thank you very much. Ms. Belisario. Thank you. I have some questions. Page 63 on the North Shore High projects. Um, the notice to proceed was April 1st, and it says the contract time for the gym is 145 days. Are those work days rather than five days rather than seven days to a week? No, they are calendar days. Oh, they are calendar yes, days. Okay. 
I wasn't sure if we were past that time, the contract period, but we have 1,600 kids there and they're unable to use the gym. Do you have any idea when that gym will be ready? Yes, ma'am. We've been working closely with um, the principal, Mr. Javia, and I, he was aware and we did work with him in advance to close the gym um, early at the end of the second semester last school year and he knew that it would also take into the beginning of this school year to do that entire gym um, scope of work. But uh, the, they did have some issues this summer with some of the electrical service that slowed them down. We are looking at some time extensions relative to that. But they have really focused on getting the new gym floor in place and they um, plan to start the finishing process next week and be done towards the third week, I believe, of September. And so the principal's aware of that and the school is planning around it. Thank you. Any other questions by board members? Uh, Ms. Drucker. Uh, Ms. Tipton, I want to ask you in regards to the Madisonville Elementary School, do you know when did, do you anticipate the uh, finish date on that for construction? They have a contract date that takes them up into early November, I believe. Uh, but they are progressing very well with finishes, um, and so currently they're projecting to be finished up in October, I think. So At we'll have to see October. how things come together. They're having some difficulty with the delivery of their canopy, but we expect it to all come together within their contract time. I was just there for open house. It looks good. It's, it's moving forward. Then also I wanted to ask you in regards to the Lancaster, um, the wings on there. I see that design. Do you know when you anticipate for it to get bid out? Um, we should know that fairly soon. We do have um, a progress set in our office to review. We are also going through the process right now with regard to those four lots on Paraloo that are being rezoned. So we're working through those processes and the design process. But it's coming along very quickly and very well. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Ms. Sealing. First of all, I would like to thank you, um, Ms. Tipton, you and your team and the administration of Pearl River High in um, all their hard work and in, in going with the uh, meeting with architects and um, it, it's, a, it's quite a process and I uh, thank you for including me as part of that. We appreciate that and you came to the meeting, thank you. And also it's, it's great to see the progress of the bids that are developing here and, um, and I'm looking forward to see um, how how we do with that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Any other comments or questions from board members? Okay, seeing none. Ms. Tipton, again, thank you very much for all your efforts and your department and Sammy and everybody else. Uh, I know it's been quite an eventful summer and now that school started back, y'all can just absolutely take a break and go on vacation. <laughs> Got nothing else to do. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> as documented right here thank really you. honestly thank y'all very much for your efforts I know it's a monumental task and it's just ever evolving yes sir so and we appreciate we appreciate job security and as long as we the construction department works together to make everything absolutely happen, so thank you appreciate the efforts all right thank y'all very much um, moving on to the next item is business affairs Ms. Prevost our monthly purchasing report the monthly purchasing report is in your packets, and Mr. Stevens is here to answer any questions you may have. Any questions from board members regarding purchasing? Seeing none, excellent report, Ms. Prevost. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, announcements from the president. Mr. Luke. Thank you, Mr. Derman. Uh, our regular board meeting for September will be held next Thursday, the 10th, at here in the boardroom at 7 p.m. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Foles has a comment to make, so Mr. Yeah, Foles. Yes, so I'm board members, I think Ms. Mullet touched on, on her prayer a little bit, uh, dealing with law enforcement. I don't know, it's kind of took off this afternoon. It was started really by Chief Tim Lentz at 11 o'clock tomorrow across this parish in honor and support of law enforcement. I know law enforcement officers across the parish are going to turn on their lights for a minute, and they're encouraging citizens to turn on their headlights for a minute in honor and support of law enforcement. So in St. Tammany Parish, uh, that's going to take place at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. So if you're somewhere on 190 in Slidell, 190 in Covington, or I think Fremo in Slidell are going to be the two areas and spread across the parish. So certainly step out and support law enforcement. Or if you happen to be in your car, 
please turn on your headlights for a minute to support law enforcement. And as we all know, across the country, they need our support. But in St. Tanny Parish, we're certainly blessed to have law enforcement agencies that support our school system each and every day, day and night, to make sure our schools are protected and safe. And we thank them, and we want to support them any way we can. Yep. It said turn on your lights. Absolutely. I think it's a great, uh, you know, indication of the support that we all can show for the efforts that our law enforcement officials give us. And it's a pretty thankless job in, in most of the time. So any effort that we can do to show gratitude for their work on a daily basis would be you know, just very thoughtful on our citizens' behalf. All right. I think that ends our meeting. So we're adjourned. Who that? <laughs>